Today we're gonna start on another project that I've been waiting for a while to do and that's uh, retrofitting the headlights on ridge line and this should apply to all first generation ridge lines which is from 2006 to 2015 and what we're gonna do is remove the headlights remove headlight housing and change from those to those as with my other videos i always try to do very detailed how-to videos or you got projector shroud just in case this one not gonna match good i also bought silver shroud to see if it's gonna look better with reflectors as i'm not planning on painting the reflectors for now i got uh, cheaper ballast and hg bulbs from amazon they're pretty cheap i might get a uh, better ones later on but with those if you ever decide to change ballast or bulb you don't have to remove headlights again so it doesn't really matter for now also here's an adapter so it should be plug and play fairly easy to the existing headlight connectors and i also got profile pivot halo what's cool about those is it has amber and white led so you use halo for turn signal and why it's like an angel eye always stays on i have no idea yet how well it's gonna look on the truck in case it will look ugly i might just keep it as turn signal only or just keep it off we'll see i don't drive my truck often so i mostly do it so that you guys can see what options there are or what you should do to your truck in case you decide to retrofit yours and like i say the video is gonna be very detailed so there are gonna be at least two probably more parts so subscribe if you want to see next video so obviously to get to retrofitting headlights first thing we're gonna do is remove the headlights in some videos some recommend first taking measurements next to a white wall to see how high it should be from 20 feet and so on i'm not gonna do it just because when you have halogen regular headlights it's very tough to figure out exact dimensions so i'm gonna first retrofit them and then i'm gonna work on aligning them correctly from 20 feet and obviously to get to headlights we have to remove them and to do that we have to remove at least the bumper we'll see what else we have to remove so first thing we're gonna do is we have to remove this piece right here to remove those clips you could use a regular screwdriver pop it up like that or you could use a specialized tool for that looks like in this case specialized might be damaging by the way it's a good idea to have a dozen or more of those trim clips because there is a good chance you'll break at least some of them It looks like this cover can come off now. Looks like everything is off. So on the top looks like it's just one more right here. Now let's uh, look what we need to do on the sides. There's a screw here, but it's so rusted. Hopefully I'll be able to get it out. We're definitely gonna need the screwdriver. Looks like I got pretty good grip with a screwdriver. Let's see. Go ahead. I sprayed a bit of WD-40, but I don't know if it did anything, maybe. Keep in mind on mine, I don't have fog lights, at least not yet. So I don't have to disconnect anything at the bottom. In your case, make sure if you do have fog lights, you might have to disconnect them before you remove the bumper got same thing on this one gonna do wd-40 on that bolt it's coming off too this one just as bad now we're gonna look around here 
to see if there's anything else. Sometimes the bottom cover might hold the bumper in place. In my case, I don't have all cover, so some stuff secured, some isn't. So I see one bolt here, 10 millimeter. And I really don't see any more. So maybe that's it. Okay, let's see if that's all that I needed to remove the bumper or not. And that's it. Okay, let's work on removing this headlight. And I see one screw here. Again, everything is pretty rusted. Here's a 10 millimeter bolt. We'll try to remove that. It's actually pretty tough to get to it. So instead, we'll remove those two 10 millimeter bolts on the side. Could be wrong but i think all we have is this one right here maybe that's it maybe not let's see nope one more right here i'm gonna disconnect the headlights Now, hopefully, the headlight will slide out. Just remove this. And it's out. I'm gonna try to remove this bottom bracket. Good. I'm gonna have to remove a couple other things here in preparation for baking. But I'm gonna work on another headlight now. Start by removing those two 10 millimeter bolts. Same thing on here, 10 millimeter bolt. And when we're putting everything back together, I'll put some anti seize on all those bolts to keep it from getting rusted. Same thing here, the headlight should slide out pretty easy now. And disconnect this light. And it's out. Same thing on this side, I'm gonna remove 10 millimeter bolt to remove that metal bracket. So here I'm pretty much testing connector, ballast and bulb. And everything's working on this side. Same thing here connector, ballast and bulb, and everything's good. We also have to check, make sure high beam is working on the projector. Do it like 10 times to make sure. Good, and we'll check on other projector as well. So this is optional, but I think it would be good to clean those lights a bit before I, I bake them. So I'll use Super Cleaner Invisible from Chemical Guys. It usually does a pretty good job. And like I say, it's optional, but I think it would look better to have it all cleaned up before it goes in the oven. And I think wife is not going to be as mad if she sees a clean headlights going there versus uh, dirty, dusty ones. At this stage, you don't need to worry about liquid getting inside the headlight because you're going to take the headlights apart anyway. Okay, looks a little bit better. And I think I'm gonna finish part one here. So in the next episode, we're gonna bake the headlights, take them apart, and start working on putting projectors there. So if you're interested in seeing more, subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, consider clicking like. If you have any questions, leave comments, and I'll try to answer as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. See you next time.